Three, two, one, jump! You're always cold. <laughs> yes, I am. It's very nice out. We're still in shock. There's actually a few people that have gotten in the water down there in the river behind us. Yes, there's a little girl in a bathing suit. It's about 60. The sun just came out though. I'm wearing gloves. She's been cold for a while now. She's in a bathing suit in the water. Oh, no way. So it was really neat for us to get here today because they had a camping area called Cedar Sage that has been closed for two years. And as we came in, the guy told us at the front gate that it opened yesterday. Our timing was perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes, they were very nice, very nice. Had a lot of showers. Yep, brand new facility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, they had six showers and each one of them is individually lockable from outside. They're not connected mm -hmm. to the inside of the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two of them were for handicaps, so they, you could easily get a wheelchair in there and plenty of places to sit down and move around in there and the handrails as well as the lower uh, shower heads mm -hmm. and the shower heads. Yeah, they had two shower heads on the, the handicapped one. Well, on those, but even in the other ones, it's nice new shower heads. Really nice facility. They also had a sink outside of the bathroom. I guess people have been using that to brush their teeth. So, so they don't have to go in the restroom and use that. It's a, it's a well-designed facility. Apparently people can brush their teeth here. That's brilliant. There's also, I'm not sure what you would want to plug in out here, but they got plugins. We got some lights, we got plenty of roof up here. Okay, so these showers back here are not handicapped. These showers are not handicapped. There's only one bench inside the shower. They still have the railings, that's nice. Only one shower head. Okay, it's good to know. Type of changing table. Of course, with the place being brand new yesterday, I doubt that's ever been used. We got three hand soap with three soap dispensers and two hand dryers. And here's a big deal. They actually put that's an AC heater on the wall. That's great. Nice skylights. Hello. We. Goodbye. The downside of that area is you cannot take a trailer longer than 20 feet in there. Mm -hmm. That eliminates pretty much any fifth wheel and most of all the travel trailers. Mm -hmm. We saw one pop-up camper in there, some teardrop trailers, and then people that camp in their uh, vans that have been converted. There was people like that that were camping. And the tent pads were great in there. They had 30 up electricity and they had water. The only thing they really didn't have was that stand up barbecue pit. You have to use the fire pit if you want to barbecue. And we've got this awesome, huge tent pad here. I'm sleeping in the tent and I wake up, but it's gone. Girls, can you tell everybody why this is so nice to have the way it is? Exactly. So they've made these sites nice and level for us. So all you want to do is if you're camping here with your tent, you come through, get any sticks and rocks out of your way so you've got a nice smooth spot underneath. 
Well, like I said, you, you got to pick the sticks and rocks up so they're not under your tent. We've got the hooks here to hold up your trash if you want. Or I like to put a lantern on it. We got a picnic table right here. And we got a fire pit with a grill at every spot. There were no raised up grills at this spot. So if you want to cook, that's how you do. There's the next site over there. That tent pad actually looks a little off level. This is a pretty neat site. I would not mind staying here at all. The uh, Turkey Sink camping area is where all the big RVs are. It's supposed to close in April. They have showers and bathroom there. Uh, they were fairly decent. They're definitely the older style. Uh, but they're planning to close it down for two years and build up one of these nice new shower facilities. The problem is though is they typically are closed for two years at state parks when they need to uh, refurbish something. So that's going to limit the kind of RVs and trailers that can come to this park for a while while that's closed. This is Turkey Creek. Haha. <laughs> hey, we saw turkeys in the video, don't you remember? Uh, what video? And there is a big old motorhome. So, longer sight. <coughs> still though, some of these are much too small. They still have the tent pads on them. Should I get the showers? Because... They're going to close them. Are they going to tear it down? Yes. Okay. I should. So we have historical doc hysterical documents. Also had the um, tent only hike-in spots. It's not too far from the from your parking spot, but as big and, and as much gear as we have, it would probably be a real pain for me to have to mm -hmm. haul it all back and forth. Yeah, I don't, they told us trails are closed, so we're going to honor that. That's what we do, we honor it. So they have actual camping pads like we saw elsewhere, but what they've done is they've gotten a lot of small tents out here. There is no water back here, so you got to take your water with you. That's where the bigger water tanks come in handy. Primitive. A neat little rock cliff out there. R? Yeah. The R means that it's reserved. Somebody's coming to sleep there. Or at least they paid for it. Alright, let's use this spot as a 
example. So we got a fire pit. It's rocks in it. That's it. It looks like I don't know what they did. Picnic table's a little bit on level. You got the hook for the lantern with the trash. Pretty good, pretty good camping pad there. Nice terrain though. I like the, the rocks and trees back here behind the tent. To me, it's busy now, but David's saying in the summertime, there probably would be a lot more people. Yeah, I don't think you'd be able to even get a picnic table. You can reserve a day pass because they have a limit on how many day passes they'll give out. So you can actually go on to Texas State Parks Reserve America website, reserve a day pass for your vehicle. And then that way, at least you got one of those, I think it was like 260, I'll have to look at the number again, that they give out per day. Because once they pass that number, they're not gonna let anybody else in. So you could at least get that in advance before you come. However, if you get out here late to get one of these picnic tables, good luck. Mm -hmm. These picnic tables will probably go fast in the warmer months for the people that wanna get out there and, and swim in this water. Mm -hmm. The river is beautiful and it's very shallow and kids can walk, pretty much walk across it. I'm I not sure about some, in some areas. I did see a sign too that it says that if you do go, choose to go down water, that there's no way to get out in the park and someone will have to pick you up five miles down and it lists the specific business name. So if you actually want to coordinate with somebody, like if you want to get in some tubes or whatever and somebody take a truck and go down to that, whatever that business is, mm -hmm. and then they can pick you up. So something to consider if you want to plan like a little adventure with a small boat or a tube. Realize it's cold, right? It's cold. So can I go in? We don't have any towels. What is she gonna do? Stand in the water? Yeah. It's cold and we have no towels. You were already complaining about being cold, Kira, so if you aren't prepared for that. Your feet are gonna get cold. over there on the cliff. I'm just gonna do a brief shot. So it's shallow enough that they walked all the way across. Yep, see? Kaylin's already done. Kira, are you serious? Yay! All right. You didn't pull your pant legs up. For all of those at home watching, it's 60 degrees in the air right now. I don't have a thermometer in the water to tell you how cold it is. So that, those rocks are the deepest point? Those rocks are the deepest?
Good to know. I don't think the fish is a little tacky. It's not really their style. Mama, and then we're gonna go down there and get a picnic table. Where I found one, someone up gets it. There's a hundred more. Nope, not hundred. I think ten. There's a hundred. Oh. We have a bee crawling on our battery. <laughs> I don't want him to crawl on me. Mm -mm, I don't want him to crawl on my tree. I don't know smells it. <laughs> He's gone. He's in that one. So there's a good amount of people that are here right now, even though it's a cooler day. There's a lot of picnicking going on. Uh, people are doing a little bit of fishing down there. They are skipping rocks a lot. Um, they're having fun. The girls are having a blast going down there, finding little rocks to throw in the water. Mm -hmm. The nature, what's it called? The Discovery Center? The Discovery Center. Was open. The staff there, she, the lady was working was so nice. And they had a lot of things for the kids to see and get their hands on to learn. Really neat. It's pretty cool for the parents to, to see all the technology and stuff. Bobcats. Ooh, I know this one. Who knows that? Uh, deer? That's right. White-tailed deer. What's this? A rabbit? A rabbit? Oh! I, I was, I was is that a bird? That is bud, a bird. Bud, 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 bud. <laughs> Wild turkeys! <laughs> they have wireless. How nice. Wireless. All right. This place looks like fun. Take a quick. We were watching videos last night, and now we're gonna make one. Well, I'll turn our camera off here in a minute, and we will start to check it out. talks about trash and how our trash can affect the park if we don't clean up after ourselves. On the bottom down there? Yes. You see that? Uh -huh. That's a shame. Uncle Stevens. Alien moth. 
that antenna. That's real. Wow. Real. It looks we like saw a moth that big moth. in Georgia. That's like the biggest butterfly ever. But they have a ruler here so you can measure that this moth's wings are almost six and a half to seven inches long. Wow. Hello there. What's your name? Raccoonie. Hi. Hi, who are you? What does the foxy say? Drifting away from each other, didn't want to let you go Oh, 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 guess we wanted different things And I have to deal with it, but it's not easy So tell me how to let go Cause you really seem to know How to carry on on your own Kaylin, can you lean over and tell the camera what you had fun doing? Kira, you want to lean over and look at the camera and say what you like to do today? Um, I like to go in the water and as you put the rock, the dry rocks into the water, they turn beautiful. Like, it's um, like they changed color and then it's like beautiful. Awesome. It just looks very beautiful. Like, it's dusty and then you put it in the water and like clean it. And then also we it's all smooth and it feels very nice. It looks really nice. Alright, Tanya, what was your favorite part about today? I liked the the Discovery Center. I liked that. Yeah, that was awesome. That was my favorite. 
we got here, the day after the new bathrooms opened and that new camping area opened was so great. I mean, that was just really neat. We got to not only capture it for y'all to see brand new, but it just totally won us over. Because not only does that make this campsite great, now looking forward to what the other campsites are doing as they build new bathrooms, that's gonna make the campsites so much better. Happy, Happy camping, y'all! Must have bumped it. It's recording. What are we gonna do? Oh no!